What's good everybody and welcome back to Coffee Talk episode 9! Yeah! So last episode, what did we do last episode? Last episode we talked about a... Pretty sure at the first part it was a murder. It was a murder on some type of weird oak tree and we learned about the anatomy of fairies. Yeah, we were talking about the, um, the fucking vandalism shit that kept on happening around town. My chair. Oops. Anyways. And then after that, I'm pretty sure the second part of the whole story was when we did Lucas's story and his backstory and why he wanted to do what he's doing. He offered, um, Rihanna a spot in his little new project thing, but, you know, she declined. And I feel like that had something to do with me. I feel like I had the power to change that. But, you know, she said she was going to give us some thoughts. I really cares. Anyways, on to the next day, and still, the question stands, where the fuck is Lau? I haven't seen her at all, I feel like that's gonna, like, cut in deeper. Anyways, I'm just here drinking un... Unbranded water, you know, all that jazz. Anyways, let's get to it. Uh, World's Golden Culture Center, grand opening to be held in Button, okay. Uh, lunar cell panel, uh, uh, prototype ready for first test. New, uh, newcomer of progressive elven metals band, all, oh, Ava Avatar, Avatar tops US music charts. Okay. Weehoo! What's going on online? Oh, wow, Lucas! Who in the hell is this thing? And that's a golem. Dinner with my team. Great. Normal schedule. Great. Oh, adorable. I'm taking an easy day because self-care is important. Don't forget to take a good a good rest once in a while too, everyone. Oh, why would I do that? I record and that's all I do in my life. Uh, last night was wild. <laughs> Ever had a night like that? Mm -hmm. No idea. Anyways. Get on with this fucking story. Let's see. All the ingredients are stocked up, and the weather uh, is keeping quiet. Looks like a good night to listen to some stories. Ah, yep, yeah, that's all I do. Look who's here! And look who's also here! Hey, you two! Good evening, Mr. Hyde, Mr. Gale. Nice to see you two. How did it go at the hospital today? Well, it was fine, except I was a little exhausted. Goodness, are you having issues with children again? No, that's not it. It's just... Well, for starters, my uh, fur, uh, fury is giving me a hard time. Fury? Is it the full moon already? No, but I sometimes get pre-fury symptoms. Pre-fury symptoms? Yeah, it's a common thing for werewolves. A few days before the full moon, our bodies start to prepare for the fury. And the changes that way and the changes the way they act to pretty much everything. Symptoms vary. Uh, symptoms vary depending on who you ask. Uh, but it can affect our muscles, our appetites, our energy levels. It can give us a headache and a lot of other stuff. Small but annoying. That doesn't sound pleasant. No, to be honest, it's not great. Uh, for me, I've been feeling pretty sore and more tired than usual. And a bit crankier as well. Motherfucker, are you gonna say something? You were chatty like any other day. Hmm. Is there a drink that could help with that? I never found one, but if anyone can come up with it, it's up to you, Mephisto. Uh, since a gale had come so soothe your fury, maybe it would work pre-fury as well. Maybe, but I think it need to be more relaxing, like a Galahad, but with no caffeine and maybe blue. Oh, so I remember I came, like I saw that drink a few times, but I need to find it. How do you make a Galahad again? Right here. 
but so it's blue milk ginger blue milk ginger right and this should be it this should be the drink that i kept on seeing gale tea gala tea here you go here you go see that already unlocking shoe uh veteran now working in a hospital absolutely remember when i fucked it up with a veterinarian all right gala tea here you go, a galaxy for you. Uh, do you come up with these names on the spot, my Christo? Absolutely. Uh, no, it takes a bit of soul searching <laughs> to tailor it to the situation and so on. Uh, that almost makes it sound like you know in advance what you're going to order. Don't be thinking about this shit, cause I kinda, uh, you're right. Hmm. Call it a success. Right, let's see how your sixth sense tastes. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is excellent. Exactly what I needed. Uh, very happy to hear that. Anyways, there's the Silent Fury over here. You haven't been saying shit. Uh, what's with the long looks, you two? <laughs> Did something happen? Actually, Muckfisto. Guess I'll just come out with it. I need your help. Go on. My help? Come on, uh, come on, I wasn't, it, it wasn't that bad. No, I was so tired today, I nearly fell asleep on the job. Uh, but most importantly, it's not good for you. Moping around, sulking, refusing to look at solutions. I've never seen you like this, I'm, I'm getting worried. There is nothing to worry about. You say that, but you you spend entire nights looking miserable. No advice. No advice I come up with is good enough. And hide. I barely. <laughs> I'm barely keeping it together as it is. You should know by now how I feel when fury. When fury is about to hit. Uh, I take it you two ended up chatting yesterday after all. Uh, you bet we did. After I walked out of here, I headed home and found this one. Lying on the sofa, staring at the ceiling. Looking so gloomy, it sucked the color out of the room. And it's not the first time, either. It's a constant these days. Please help me help him. I'm up this stuff. I'm at my wit's end. I don't know what the fuck you want me to do. <laughs> uh, hide? Uh, fine. The truth is, I'm bored to death. Or I would be if it wasn't for the whole immortality thing. I'm nearing 40 years old, and I've, I've never been this bored in my entire life. I expected you to be older. I expected you to be way older. Interesting, you usually make it sound like you're much older. Exactly. 40 years in vampire years. I'm not saying how old that is in other species years. Eyes on the pizza, McFisto. <laughs> Interventions first, gossip later. Got it. My apologies. Why are you so bored, Mr. Hyde? My job. Oh, I'm sorry, what'd you say? My job! Hey now, no need to shout. Yeah. Well, I'm so also irritated about it, okay? I'm not, ex I'm not exactly used to sitting around uh, twiddling my thumbs. The modeling stopped being fun ages ago. Uh, you did mention something like that last time. You are trying to leave modeling time, then. Yeah. Is there a specific reason for that? You- boring! You said it was boring. It's just all so... brief. Back when I started modeling, people th uh, people thought of fashion in a different way. The way uh, they wanted to keep their outfits for a while. So they had to be elegant, well-made, well and versatile. So companies that I featured in stayed on billboards for months. And I knew the clothes would last decades. In a way, it felt like I was building a bond with their wearers. 
I endorse something that would feature in their uh, cherished memories. But then social media came and it all became disposable. The clothes themselves, of course, but the models even more. I shoot a campaign, the brand posted online, and it gets attention for what, 10 minutes? Then another campaign comes in and everything's forgotten. Blink, and it's gone. There's no bond to the build there. Isn't the change... Is, isn't, isn't that changing these days, though? With slow fashion and like that and the like? Uh, that's true, and people are getting into uh, vintage clothes, too. I salute that. But the reality of my job remains the same. What about your fans? Uh, you have so many people following you. You mentioned that last night, and my answer hasn't changed. The follows, uh, they follow me because they think I'm pretty. Uh, being admired is nice, but it doesn't con uh, constitute a bond. So are you saying that you'd like to leave? More of a mark? Maybe so. It would be nice if I told if I did something that people remember. That became a part of their lives in a real way. You do know you have people in your lives in a real way, right? People who always remember you. It's not the same thing. Maybe you should study to become a doctor or, oh my god, or something. That would make a real difference. No, thank you. The job still needs to be fun. Uh, studying for 10 years just to exhaust myself in a 14-hour shift? Yeah, did you mistake me for a hard-working vampire? <laughs> okay. Uh, do you see what I'm dealing with, Mephisto? It does seem to be a thorny issue. Perhaps you'd like to mull it out with a drink in hand, Mr. Hyde. Yeah, that sounds good. Just make me something I like. Another... Anything you've seen me enjoy recently than the first time we met. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I know what that is. That is, um... Pretty sure... Which one is it? It's this one, right? Nope. It's, uh... Zobo. It could be Ginger Ginger. Because I'm pretty sure he liked that before. If he doesn't, then fuck him. Pretty sure he likes Zobo. There you go, Mr. Hyde. You seem to like uh, this well enough. <sighs> nice, Mephisto. And you lost your bet, Mr. Hyde. I bet. Oh, when Hyde was well-owned in self-pity yesterday, I told him many people cared about him, and I bet you could remember what he liked even if he gave you no instructions. So now I get to say that I was right, and Mr. Hyde gets to buy me dinner at a place of my choosing. Uh, you're going to pick that horrible steakhouse again, aren't you? Oh, you know it! Oops, shit, fuck, oops, what did he say? Oops, I, I have my hand on. Uh, have you, uh, have you won another bet in the past, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Gale? Let's see. Uh, you say it, Hyde. <sighs> uh, he won every single one in the bets of us we ever made. Wow. Yeah, I'm this close to being able to buy a new TV with the money I'm saving up. Or food. Uh, just to rub it in my face, why wouldn't you? Who is it? Who's the heels girl? Wow! Look at us! The trio once again! Oh, hi everyone! Hey, Lau. Hi, Lau. Uh, busy night, I see. Hi, Miss Lau. Uh, busy and lively, just the way you like it. That's good. And I'm really glad you were here, Hyde. I wanted to apologize for the other night. I, won I was so excited to see you, especially since it had been a while, but we ended up fighting with the Baileys instead. Uh-huh. Who? Okay. Hey, guys up. Hey, guys up. Okay, what the fuck ever. Uh, what? 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 I got like a few... Got something. Supermodel. Unlock this full thing. All right. 
Uh, the fact I've been uh, blood sober for 10 years. Running a motto, past, stock trader, entrepreneur, veterinary, uh, venture, cap, uh, cap, yeah, yeah, whatever. Who really cares? Anyways, uh, you must be getting bored of our arguments. It's alright, they're kind of fun to watch. Uh, how are things with YouTube, by the way? Uh, just left me an order before I answer. If that's the if that's alright, my pistol. Of course, what would you like? Go on, what do you like? I spent the whole day talking in a meeting of, uh, in presentations, so I have a bit of a sore throat. Is there anything you'd recommend for that? I have no idea. Definitely something with lemon and honey. Sounds great. I'd like a lemon and honey drink then, please. Okay. Milk, lemon, and honey. What does that make? I forgot. Lemon, honey, milk. I don't... I want, I want, I want name brand shit. Could I get, like, name brand shit? Because, like, yeah, there ain't none here with lemon and honey. I do know that. I got absolutely nothing in here. Lemon and honey. So what if I, like, I don't know, just... Uh, lemon honey. What if I just do that? What does that do? Or does it? Or does it like not do anything? Cause I don't feel like. Okay, never mind. So we're just we're, you can't you can't go wrong with milk. Whatever, fuck it. Can't go wrong with milk, lemon honey. Can't go wrong with that. Hey, okay. Lemon honey milk. There you go. Some for your sore throat, because I'm pretty sure putting bitter shit in there is not gonna make it good. Here you go, some honey to smooth, uh, uh, to soothe, some lemon to boost the recovery. Thanks, Doctor Mephisto. Ah, Doctor Muck MD. Ah, this is truly lovely, just the way I need it. That's great to hear. My company's trying to get a big contract, so I've been organizing meetings with everyone. Uh, meeting sure. Sure, it's all going according to plan. Okay. That sounds pretty tough. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, responsibility and decision making. And a part of me likes that, but part of me feels the pressure of it. So it's nice to be able to unwind with a warm cup. Anyhow, to answer your earlier question, Gail, uh, you've probably gathered that Bailey and I have been fighting. Yeah, and Mr. Yeah, yeah. God damn, even I'm getting into the character of Buck Fist. I'm saying Mr. even though they don't even have to. Yeah, and Hyde told me a little bit about that, too. Right, well. Uh, we haven't discussed the wedding for the past couple of days. And honestly, it's been... It's, it's done me a lot of good. The thing is... I know Bailey means well. He suggests all things, all these things that he thinks I'd like, and I should like it. Uh, he's paying attention, not just sending random ideas. I should be grateful that he's trying to please me, but I get annoyed instead. And then I start feeling guilty that I'm annoyed, which means even more, <laughs> which makes me even more annoyed. It's not a, it's not great, I know. Well, I'd, well, it'd be easier if we always acted irrationally, if we only got annoyed at the right people for the right reasons. But things aren't that simple, are they? That's true. Although, I guess if you figured out what actually annoys you, it would help. That's the problem, I'm not sure. At first, I thought I was tired or worried. Uh, the decision making at my huge job is taking a toll, for sure. It's a bit hard for me to to also deal with organizing things in my personal life. Also, the financial side of it is hard to navigate. I don't want Bailey to spend time too much money, but he's right. Uh, he's right that involving my family comes with uh, strings attached. I'm not sure how to avoid that though. But I'm realizing that might not even be the main issue. 
the more he sends me links to venues and caters, the more it all feels wrong to me. You're fucking me up. I don't mean the wedding itself. I want to get married today, Amy. But the way we're planning it, I don't know. I've been to my friend's wedding before. I've also been uh, browsing the most popular wedding pictures online. They're always the, these big parties, very put together, very classy. They have their whole families over their friends and col colleagues. Uh, they rent these beautiful barns and they hire live bands. Uh, they wear uh, designer dressing uh, dresses and uh, uh, bespoke suits. Okay. Uh, I used to look at that and think, this is great. This is what I want. But now it all just feels more and more off to me. Okay, but yet, yeah, like, we, you, you, but you technically have all that, though, right? In, in a sense, because a singer, we have Rachel, a person who's good with clothes, yeah, influencers, money, like, you, you have, like, a lot of fucking people that can practically bring that shit true? I don't know, like, you have that, you have all that. Uh, why don't you tell your fiance that? Well, if he thinks I'm getting cold feet, or that I'm questioning his ability to help with the budget, that's up to how you communicate it, isn't it? Right, but it's still a difficult topic. We've been through so much, you all know that. This is supposed to be our special day, a way to celebrate our partnership. Um, Bailey wants to honor that, he'll f feel awful if he thinks I'm thinks I don't, or if he thinks I don't trust him. I, th I swear you and your elf are well matched. You always worry so much about what, uh, what others think, instead of working out your own wants and needs. You don't realize that the important bit, right? I mean, generally... Yes, I get that, but how does it apply here? What do you think it means to honor your partnership? To celebrate it properly, for starters. Right. And who are you in the, the partnership with? I believe you've met him, the blonde guy with the uh, puppy eyes. Jesus Christ. Right, I'm glad you remember that because you were making it sound like you were in a relationship with your friend who got married. And the stranger who puts a wedding picture online. <laughs> Damn! You know, this is your relationship you're celebrating. Damn! Why are you so concerned with other people's weddings? Your special day needs to make sense to the two of you. <laughs> Have it in uh, trainers at the fast food joint if th that's what you like. Wow, that way you can also t take the budget out of the equation. A simpler wedding won't feel shabby if you make it feel pro uh, properly yours. <laughs> um, I still want a pretty outfit and decent food. Thank goodness. But uh, point well taken. It's just... My family might have certain expectations. D did they openly say that? No. Uh, then maybe they do, or maybe they just think they- or maybe you just think they do. Uh, the only way to find out is to take- is to talk to them. Besides, it's- Besides, isn't Bailey also about to become your family? You sure are the only family he's got. I'm not saying to uh, disinvite everyone or to fight with them or anything, but you shouldn't put their needs above your own. I really thought I really shouldn't. Should I? You've given uh, you've given me food for thought. Thanks, Hyde. My pleasure. Ah, uh, amazing how you uh, perk up when people give uh, when you give people advice, Hyde. Uh, maybe you should become a therapist. Dang, didn't we already say that? Is that what he's gonna do? Is that is that, is that gonna be his new? 
is that going to be your new pro profession? A therapist? Huh. Is that going to be your new profession? A therapist? Because it's never boring. Gee, thanks for the vote of confidence. I did say I might become a couples counselor. You did not. Uh, but I agree with what you, you all implied. I don't think I'm quite tactful enough for that. Uh, are you looking for a change careers, Hi. I mean, fuck, you're, you, you've you been doing a good job last season in this fucking season. Like, you've been, like, all, all around, even though you pissed me off with the drinks, all around you've just been spitting facts about everything. Every, like, like anything you do, you helped so fucking much. You helped goddamn, um, um, Lucas. You helped these two before in last season. Um, who else the fuck did you help? Or was that it? I don't really know. You said some shit about me. I helped you, you know, well round circle. Uh, he's bored of modeling. Uh, find it too, too impermanent. Wants to leave a mark. Wants to have fun. Uh, just a very quick summary. Oh, I see. Well, is there any way you could make modeling fun again? I don't think so. Uh, last time I had proper fun was maybe 20 years ago. Oh, what happened then? Here we go with another story. I was modeling on a, a capsule collection for a younger designer, and she wanted to take her own picture. Uh, she got a, she got a studio a lounge, uh, lunged the outfits here, lugged the outfits here, found someone to do makeup. Then she whipped out an old film camera and proper relic. Proper relic. You are a old motherfucker. I had seen one like that since. I hadn't seen one one that since the sixties. Uh, my granddad has an old uh black and silver camera with uh tools. I'm questioning myself. All right, finally, something I can read in English. Lover lover of the bright moonlight, believer in a life without a flight. Okay, I'm a big fan of art and property. What I'm doing with my lab, working a nine to five in a trading company by the day, going to property, going to poetry reading and uh, measuring on the weekends. Entrepreneur by, okay, entrepreneur, whatever, fuck it. I'm choking on my words, I'm tired, fuck you. Yeah, 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 grandma had cameras. Oh, was it something like that? Yep, exactly like that. Uh, she said uh, she said she preferred it because of the way it captured the light, and also because it was a slower experience. Something like uh, something that would allow to us to connect more. And first, I didn't think much of it. I started doing the usual posing, switching, posing some more, but something felt different than I realized what it was. Most of, the, most of the time we were just talking. She also took a picture of me in a few minutes. If that, is that unusual? Oh no, it sounds like a love story to me. Yep, most fashion photographers take dozens of pictures in a row. I felt a bit sorry for her, to be honest. I thought she didn't know what she was doing and that she was wasting her money. But we had a great time and we got kind of friendly, I guess. Because uh, because at the end of it, she let me use up the remaining exposure. I fooled around, sh uh, shot some random stuff and one uh, portrait of her. Uh, she uh, Then she suggests I come with her to her in her uh, dark room. Uh, watch how she develops the pictures and how they come out. Uh, you did always have a fondness for dark places. Hey, it comes with the territory. Uh, but as for the pictures, well, they were gorgeous. Uh, first of all, I looked really like me. You know, a <laughs> me I could recognize. And that's not even what stuck struck me as... Struck, stuck, damn, but that's not even what uh, stuck me with the most. Uh, it's the care she puts into processing each frame. Working each picture, though, the chemicals bad. Hanging them, drying them, it was like watching a magic ritual. And her portrait. 
when she saw it, she got a bit emotional. Now, she said she was used to being on her other side of the camera, and it was the first time she really liked a portrait someone took for her. Okay. Sweet. Uh, I'm in a weird place these guys these days. It's not like me to tell these kinds of tales. Or to launch into stoppy monologues, really. Just forget it. No, I think it's a beautiful story. And it's, it gives me an idea, I think, of another career for you. Photography? Oh, being on the picture-taking side of modeling. Okay, please share loud. <laughs> You'd be doing both of us a solid. Oh, no. Well, maybe it's because I've looked at so many of them recently, but, appar uh, but a apparently films is making a big comeback for wedding pictures. Isn't what you said is a uh, capture the light uh, beautifully? And it's a more personal, slower approach. Maybe you could try that. Who, me? No, the other vampires who, who, who's looking for a new line of work. Oh, I think you've got the wrong guy here, Lau. I know I'm disgustingly sentimental these days, but I'm not that far gone. Uh, atten uh, attending one wedding gives me uh, cavities, let alone several per month. Ah, uh, well, forget about it then. No, 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 don't forget about it at all. I would be, uh, it would be perfect for you. Come on, hide. I know you, you like to plan strange and, uh, uh, sarcastic. I know you like to play strong and sarcastic, but you are sentimental. And you love to chat people up. <laughs> you solve all the bridesmaids dramas and offense. Partners. <laughs> Okay, but most importantly, you do something for those people that they'll never forget. They look at your picture their whole lives. But that's not uh, leaving a mark. I don't know what is. He has a point. He has a point. You're assuming they won't be divorced. I don't know. I don't know if this is the right topic for Miss Lau. It's alright, I know some marriages end in divorces, but that doesn't change anything, does it? Whether the marriage uh, lasts for a few months or several decades, the wedding is still an unforgettable moment in someone's life. Okay. Uh, that career in the Mafia is really looking up. You're hopeless. I'm falling asleep on my chair now, so I'm gonna head back. Uh, do whatever you want, you thick skulled vampire. Uh, just don't stay out too late, okay? Ah. Uh, yeah, alright. That's my cue as well. I have some thinking to do. And maybe some talking. Thanks again, Hyde. And good luck. I hope your next adventure is as good one. It will be. Good night, love. Good night, my pissed up. See you later. Peace. Good night to you, too. Alright, oh, just you and me. Just you and me. Here we go again. Last one sitting. Indeed. Proper night owl. You didn't say anything about the wedding of photographer ideas. It's ridiculous, right? That's not for me to say, but I wouldn't call it ridiculous. It sounds like you enjoy the whole film photography experience, and you like being around people, don't you? I do, sometimes, I do sometimes, but I'm not a romantic. You don't have to be a romantic. People get married, they think they're taking a step, a first step into forever. Well, there is no such thing as forever. Everyone ends up uh, disappoint, uh, d disappointed in some way, and then, next, things, you know. Uh, I don't want to sound so too- I don't want to sound too depressing. 
don't, uh, you don't believe in luck? Of course I do, but only in certain kinds. You can choose to keep uh, supporting someone to enjoy their company. Uh, you can do that for years, with friends, family, lovers. But at the end of the day, they're still, uh, you're still you at the separate person. And they're still them. There are no two souls becoming one, not really. I know, I'm the one, <laughs> the one time I tried, it really didn't work out. But do you regret trying? Damn. No, I guess not. It confirmed for me that marriage and the like, it's never going to be my thing. And there is freedom in knowing that about myself. It's giving me a space to build other relationships that work much better. But at the same time, when I see people who truly believe it, people who think into willing to share their lives so closely, even if most of them, it won't pan out. There's something beautiful there, like watching a butterfly fly too close to the flame, or a flower blooming like it will never wilt. Okay, and yet you're still considering not doing that? Well, in, well, in my case, I signed off my wings, but I'm still here. And on that day, uh, for that minute when I said we'd be together forever and meant it, I sure felt alive. If you know all that, then, you must also know that it's something worth celebrating, and something worth helping other people celebrate. You're a trisky one, Mephisto, and I'm too tired to fight your logic, which means it's time for me to head back. Of course, Hyde. And I meant to say I appreciate or on to or one to one chat. I hope we can keep providing you with a comfortable space here. Oh, it's plenty comfortable for sure. Besides, well, it all boils down to this, doesn't it? The way time passes for me is very different for anyone else I know. Thank goodness Gail, Gail is from a long living species. But even then, he'll grow old before I do eventually. Uh, the world will change a hundred times, technologically will die out, and new techno technologies will die out, new te te technologies, damn, will come. I will, feel, I will feel again the way I feel now, in a century, maybe two. And Lao and Gao won't be around to give me advice. The world won't wait for me. But you will, and I'm right with her still. Do you know? Do you know? This is a very perceptive view, Mr. Hyde. Hey, you've grown to know me quite well. It's only fair that I know you a little in return. Do you know that I'm technically immortal S or time traveling? I suppose that's true. I don't really know. So anyway, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, to continue our story. It's nice to know that no matter how much time passes, there's always going to be someone here rooting for me. Okay, uh, I feel like that you do know. I feel like that you 100% do know about my whole thing. Uh, guess where I am, slash last, because sure as hell I don't know. Okay, great. There's always going to be someone here rooting for me. Thank you for your trust, Mr. Hyde. We will make sure it's... He does know! Does he know? We will make sure it's not misplaced. Does he know? Holy shit, because I only talk in the third person when it comes to... Um, 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 Silver and fucking... Whatchamacallit from goddamn uh, Amanda. So does he know? I know you will. And on that note, I guess I'm going to go browse for some film cameras. So, so, does he know? Does he know? Are you lost? Great, okay, you guys are talking. 
Does he know? What's the worst care? Or what's the worst that then that can happen? I don't know. Indeed. Uh, take care of yourself, friend. And you will as well. So does he know? I'm so confused. Does he know? The world won't wait for you, Mr. High. But some of us will. Does he know? I don't know. Does he know? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Does he know? I don't know. Hide. I don't know how you. I'm, I'm assuming he knows. I'm assuming. I don't know. Mm. I'm assuming he knows. I'm assuming he knows. I'm assuming he knows all about me and my mystical powers. I don't know. Am I immortal? I have no idea. I don't know my lifespan since I'm basically an alien, but... Alright, well... I guess that's all the time I got for today. Big reveal, semi-reveal, I got no idea. But, um... So I'm not gonna play you out. I'm still gonna stay here playing this goddamn game, but, you know... Fade the black! Get him out of here. Get him out of here.